on this episode of the Fleming Brothers Productions. No fancy voiceover guy, just me, Red Dog. Um, yeah, this episode you'll, um, you'll get to see my first stag. It's three years in the making. I've been out to Sam's place now for the last three years, or pretty much four years because we lost a uh, year last year because of the spicy cough. And yeah, hope you enjoy what um, Sam's put together. How do you do this, Sam? You're gonna have to help me out here. just got eyes on that stag that's been roaring the closest one just up here in the tree line he's got six does with him so he's already mobbed up um, he's responding to our doe call but we're a bit worried about letting the stag call off just in case he gets um gets a bit wigged out and starts pushing his does into the thick stuff if they go in there we're never going to get him out so we'll just let him be, let a couple of doe calls off, see if we can get him to come a bit further down the hill, because at the moment it's sitting at 800 metres and Red Dog's not too confident shooting that far out, so we want to get him within 400. I think the only way to do that is to keep sending goat doe calls and um, see if we can get him a bit further down the hill for him. But I'm going to change my position a bit now. Go back up to the buggy. See if I can get some better footage for you. Ready? Yep. <coughs> That's him. See him? Yeah, he moved, yeah. Little fawn run off to the right. Oh, he's just going to his oh, head. he's a good deer, eh? Throw his head. Oh, he's just a big animal. No, he's got a pretty good head, eh? Is he full eh? No, he's, he's got long antlers. Yeah, real long. You know, long. you know, two go out, like real, almost like a chitter. You know, that's the one that we saw two years ago running up that hill. You sure you don't want to train him, mate? Oh. Have a chance. I'd like to get closer. Well, made an executive decision. Gotta go and get my first deer. Got a long walk ahead of us. So, um, grass is really long, as you can see. We gotta try and get a bit closer. Red Dog doesn't feel comfortable shooting out to 500, so we've got the 308. Hopefully, we can get in range and get a shot on him. But we've got quite a walk, and he's got a lot of doe, so as long as we don't get spotted, they're still feeding, so we should be alright. Just on this hill up here. We're gonna try and make it down to this. 
this tree. just made our way down this hill. We got a strong breeze blowing back this way. It's still at 350 meters. We want to try and get into 200. He's making his way down the hill still, so might wait here for a bit, see what he does. If he doesn't keep coming, we'll, try, we'll have to go around back down the track, but that may take too long, so. Is a good deer. Excited? Just sit here and wait for a bit, see what he does, and then make a decision from there. Uh, he could be anywhere in there, man. Yeah, I don't think he can see us, but. I don't think it's worth walking in there. He um, called for a little bit, but he's gone quiet now. We think he's laid up in there, so it's up to you. But I, I reckon... I can lead him to the side, Yeah, I reckon we're going to hit him this afternoon. We know where he is now. He's not throwing any calls. He won't move very far from there. He's got his does. He's got his water. Um, if we go and move up on him now, there's no wind at all, and the grass, you're walking through shit like this, he's going to hear us. I reckon we call it, come back Masavi. Wasn't entirely a waste of time. Got in range, but he's just, he's lied down. We saw him lie down. The grass is that long we can't see so we'll come back to Savi and nah I can't see no nah. no nah, nah. he's gone he'd be further down in this thick stuff here but we'll come back up to Savi we'll get him we'll get him this afternoon they'll be out feeding again it's not a waste of time but a bit disappointing better than working that's it now we just got to um, make our ascent back up this hill all the way around the ridge line and up to Dad in the buggy. A long way from. <laughs> Let's trot, lads. <laughs> Let's trot. <laughs> Whew. She's steep. You right back there? Pretty steep, eh? The camera won't do it justice, but you want to get your weight right because otherwise you're tumbling down into that creek. She's pretty steep. Pretty steep. <laughs> yeah, you can't even tell really with the camera, but you've got the weight on the outside of your foot. <laughs> Trying not to fall. If you fall, you're dead. <laughs> oh, it'd hurt a bit. She wouldn't tickle. Well, especially carrying a gun. <laughs> Pretty wet too from all the rain. We'll just keep following this cow track. Uh, then we'll start heading up. Well, unfortunately, we didn't come up trumps this time. Uh, it wasn't through lack of effort. We did hike all the way down there, but by the time we got there, we just couldn't get in range. He started moving away, he ended up going and um, laying down in all the thick stuff there with his does. So rather than trying to like push the push the shot and trying to sneak up on him, we're potentially spooking him and then we'd probably never see him again. So we're gonna come back this afternoon, we're gonna hatch a bit of a game plan, head up there maybe around three, as hot as it'll be up there, I think we need to get up there because judging by his behavior and what he was doing the, uh, this morning, how he bullies his does around, he, he'll he just push them out for him to feed probably as the sun starts to set behind the, um, behind the mountain there. 
uh, he'll push them out. They'll feed till the sun goes down, then he'll just push them back in. So I'm thinking as long as we, um, we're down the hill, set up within range, hopefully he's not going to move from there. There's, he's set up there, he'll be in there all day. Um, he's the dominant stag. The other ones were raw and they were, they were very far away. So he's got the whole area to himself. He's not worried. They shouldn't feed up the hill. So where they went in, I'm thinking is where they're going to come out. I've got an um, idea on where I want to set up. It's just as long as we can get there before he starts pushing them out and we get spotted, that's going to be the only thing. But that's the plan for now. As hard as it's going to be walking down there, it is very, very steep. Um, it's just something we're going to have to do if Red Dog wants to get a stag. But that's the plan for this afternoon, so fingers crossed. We'll see how we go. Thick stuff now. Just trying to get on the other side of him because this morning he pushed into the thick stuff, but we couldn't get a good look at him. Oh. So, and make our way down to roughly where we were, but about 200 meters on the other side. Hopefully, he's still in the same spot as last time, and we should be set up by the time he starts making his way out to feed. It's real hard walking through the stuff, it's so thick. Oh, I'm down. It's a log there. become really exposed here so we're just gonna have to keep taking it slow five steps stop look around five steps stop look around kind of thing because I dare say by the time we get to this tree down here he could be out and about with his does so see what's around. If there's nothing, we'll just continue down and get set up. Yeah, you got him. Put another one in it. Just relax. Breathe easy. Steady.
He's down. Is that him or the does? That's the does. Is he doing what the fuck off? No, he's dead, bro. His fucking head's down. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. Fuck. Um, how are we going to get him now? It's a very steep. Wait. Let's just sit here and wait for the does to to get lost. Um, yeah, there you go. That's your first stag. Yeah. Well done. Anything you want to say? I'm so happy you're down. Pretty uh, fucking gnarly, but I might call Dad to if bring. If you don't understand, we are up there. Can you can you see that on the camera or not? Where we come from? Is that the does that making that? That's the does still. They're still up there. They don't. They don't know where we are. They don't know what just happened. Let's get a look at him. <laughs> yeah. Um. I just came across to get my deer. Um, we've hit him here. He's just down below Sam. You can't really see, but I was on that, that ridge just there. And where I'm standing is where I had my first shot. And he's, yeah, he's finished off down here. Yeah. All right, moment of truth. Let's be careful. Like he's good for your first one. Unreal. Well done. Alright. Dad is not on this one. On that one. So we gotta drag him down here and somehow get the uh trailer in so we can um, get a bit of meat off him. Hold his head up. Let's get a look at him. <laughs> he's a cracker. Well done. Now, I'm pretty sure I've been watching this deer for two years so um, that's actually something special. He's always been in this area. We've just Never had the opportunity to shoot him, but made the most of it. Got blown off this morning, but come back down in the Arvo and got it done. So we'll drag him down now and um, we'll show you his a bit better look. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. You should be dragging it yourself, mate. It's your deer. I can try, but I don't think I'll be able to do it. It'll just go straight down. Oh no, fuck. Fuck the shit up. The big creature. Oh. He's a big animal. He's fucked up. Yeah, he's caught. Oh, yeah. On the grass. Sorry. Knew that was gonna happen. Just my pants. Bloody amateurs. <laughs> Righto, well, that's been uh, three years in the making. Yeah. Red Dog's had a tough couple of years. Um, we've been locked down the last year and this year he's um, lost next to nearly everything in his house. So being able to get out and get it done, I don't know, what does that feel like? Unreal. Especially after this morning too, seeing him up above us here, sitting there and and then yeah, everything just worked perfect just then. It was unreal. He come out the tree line just above us here and yeah, he's here now. so. Stoked. Got it done. Doesn't always happen like that, but... Yeah, it was sick. So it's something I'll never forget. First day? Yep. And yeah, pretty, pretty happy with him. He's a big animal. He'd be, uh, I don't know, out of guess. Oh, high hundreds anyway. Yeah, he'd be close to 
180. I reckon he's a bit um, on the leaner side because he's been up here with a whole heap of does. I think there was five or six with him this morning. So yeah, he's obviously the dominant stag for the area, but he's not so dominant anymore. <laughs> so Dad's just on his way with the buggy now. We're going to um, cut him up, take some meat off him, and uh, Red Dog gets a head for the wall. Yeah. <laughs>